Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to activate the Xfinity Gateway. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Xfinity account. All right, so just launch your Xfinity web application. It's not like you really want to do anything in here, but I just want to show you how you can create your Xfinity ID. Launch in the browser of your choice and type in Xfinity.com. Now, once you do that, it's going to take you to the official website. At the top right corner, follow through with the on-screen prompt to sign in. All right. And once you sign up, go ahead and create your x user ID and get your details set. Because you're definitely going to need to activate your x gateway with the x application. Let's activate your x internet slash x voice service if you rent an x gateway. Here is what you can do. So the first thing that you need to do is to launch your Xfinity application using your mobile phone. All right. So you're going to sign in using your Xfinity ID and password. I've just shown you how to do that. You must be the primary a member or a manager to access this. So once you launch the Xfinity application and you log in successfully, select Get Started to begin the process of setting up your gateway. Activation should only take about 20 minutes. Now, if you're replacing an existing gateway, you may not prevent to begin the activation process as soon as you sign into the app. To begin activation, navigate to the activation entry point by selecting the account tab from the bottom right corner of your Xfinity app. And you select activate SY gateway or modem under the devices section. That's if you've already done the process before. So account tab, head to devices, select activate SY gateway or modem. Now, once you do that, the next thing is to get started. Now, the Xfinity app will then take you through the necessary steps to set up your gateway and activate your Xfinity internet or your Xfinity voice service. To get started, find an active cable outlet in your home. An active cable outlet is commonly found is commonly found in the living room or office and has most likely provided service before. Note: If you live in a Wi-Fi ready apartment and lease the pre-installed Xfinity gateway. You will need to physically install the gateway. Now you can check that the gateway is plugged in and has power by making sure that the commercial cable is connected to the cable in slash RF input in the back of the device and that the lights are lit on the front of the device. The pre-installed XMT gateway will already be installed in the media panel and connected to a cable outlet. So identify your gateway now. To maximize your Wi-Fi coverage, avoid cramped spaces and make sure your gateway is placed at least a few feet off the floor. Now, once you found the best spot for your gateway, follow the instructions to connect the commercial cable to your gateway and activate cable outlets. What are the instructions? Number one, make sure the connection is finger tight. Number two, if you have a single light on your gateway, your device will be ready to activate when it turns white and it's either solid or blinking. Now, if you have multiple lights on your gateway, the device will be ready to activate when the top three lights are solid. Then once you're done, select ready to go and continue. So ready to go. That's it. Now, once you click on ready to go, it means now that you get to its part up, you're going to click on sell. You're going to click on check connection to check if your cable outlet is active. So this is it. Click on the check connection button. After that, if an active outlet is detected, you can proceed with personalizing your home Wi-Fi network name and password. How do you do that? Enter a Wi-Fi name and password that is easy to remember and secure. This is what you will use to connect your personal devices to your network. Then once you're done entering the name and the password, select Next. If the cable outlet is not active, you can select Try another outlet and repeat the five steps. That's step five and step six with a different outlet in your home. If there are no other outlets to try, select I don't have another outlet so we can help schedule a technician visit. That Xfinity is going to schedule the technician visit for you if you don't have any other outlet. Okay, so note, if any other error occurs during activation, you'll be connected with an agent through the text messaging for help. And if an agent is unable to chat by text, they're going to call you. Now, the next step is to confirm the Wi-Fi name and password you entered. If you need to make changes, simply select the back arrow in the top left corner of your screen. And if you're also activating Xfinity Voice, you'll see your phone number on the screen. If you do not, if you're not activating Xfinity Voice, you will not see the phone number. Once you're done, select confirm and finish up. Note, if you're upgrading an existing Xfinity gateway with, in, with a new one or moving your services to a new address, you should be able to keep your previous settings, including Wi-Fi name and password. Remember, 
If you change the Wi-Fi information, you will need to reconnect all of your devices using the new Wi-Fi name and password. Now your home network setup will now begin and can take up to 10 minutes to complete and you can enable push notifications so it can be alerted once your activation is completed. So this is what you're going to show you setting up network. So you're going to have to wait. Please do not distort the process. Once your gateway is activated, you will need to connect to your new Wi-Fi network. Now choose to either auto or manually connect the mobile device you're using. Now, once you do that, the next step is you can now start using the Xfinity app to assess your home network settings, see who's most active in your network, pause devices, troubleshoot connection issues, and block inappropriate content and network chats. That's pretty much the process. So this is how you can activate your Xfinity gateway. You can go over the process from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.